I got your toes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tickle them. Tickle in the toes. Yeah, dude, they just haven't been, uh, been very communicative today. Like, who would not want to talk to the guy that it has, uh, a toe fetish? I feel like that's an immediate friend request. Went and filled up my uh, uh, water filter, and it was, you know, filtering water into the lower part, and then I was putting that water into my cup, right? And in my mind, I was like, "Wow, this is taking a bit." Uh, and I looked at the countdown; it was like ten seconds left. I was like, "I should have enough time to fill this up," and I was like, "But it's gonna be kind of close." I was like, "Oh, I'll just fucking tilt it." And put all the water towards the front so it comes out quicker. And dude, there was so much fucking water still in the top portion. And it came out. So much came out. Spilled everywhere. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't. Huddling in the corner for warmth. Thanks, Britta. <laughs> Truth. Truth. Yeah, Chuck, all is well, man. I can't complain. All is well. They have to address the cheating too. I mean, I think that's just any online multiplayer game at the moment. It's not, uh, it's not being tackled well on any platform besides like Valorant and that one's got a very in invasive anti-cheat. And so it's kind of one of those things that, uh, I wouldn't necessarily hold it against, uh, BSG at the moment. They're making like RMT changes and shit like that to where it's more difficult for uh, cheaters to profit off the game. And then like the whole lifetime cycle with that as a whole was basically cheaters got really, really, really bad because Tarkov has the chances or the chance to make real world money at cheating cheat get in-game items sell those in-game items and so yes yeah, she had two types of cheaters to deal with the people that do it for fun the people that do it for profit and then they took the uh took care of the people that did it for profit for rmts those people turned into rage hackers those rage hackers slash boosters because that's the only thing that you could really profit on um was bringing players in and boosting them they uh the boosters got banned and then the people that got boosted caught a ban or got their account reset it, depending on the severity and so like both parties got punished basically and now it's made it to where it's not uh not as profitable to sit and cheat you're still gonna have the little dick guys that do it for fun but you're not gonna have the uh profiteers Boy, we suck. I got your toes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tickle them. Tickle, tickle in the toes. You wanna play catch with me? You guys not much of a talker. Do I have VoIP on? I did. Yeah, dude. They just haven't been uh been very communicative today. Like who would not want to talk to the guy that it has uh a toe fetish? One just wants to tickle him. I 
feel like that's an immediate friend request. The nerve of some people, man, I swear. It's downright disrespectful. Uh, let's check this guy up top. What are rage hackers? Uh, something along the lines of I'm going to cheat in Tarkov to profit off of it. And then BSG takes away my way to profit off cheating. Oh, that makes me angry. My dick is so small. I'm going to go around and just, just kill everybody in a lobby. For those reasons. Wait, was that actually a good uh, RD? In my mind, that's what rage hacking is. But I don't think it's so much like... an issue with uh, BSG or Escape from Tarkov. I think it's an issue with online multiplayer games. It's just, there's gonna be cheaters in them. It happens. And if you're just playing for fun, then um, it's definitely super shitty to die to a cheater, but at the end of the day, fortunately, nothing else major was on the line. You got helmet on. Did he hear me? Why he turned around or did his friend hear me? side this wall I think hello are you a are you a are you a ghost and close that hello He's definitely over there. I just can't push from that angle. Him. Possibly.
suspicious. That be who it was. 